Hello everyone, Mike Kruger from Weather NorCal. This is Turtle Bay Wonderful World of Animals. I've got Sharon Clay from Turtle Bay with me as usual, usually. Oh, you dropped it. You're done, no more. Uh, this is Pez, right? It is Pez. Pez is a scaly breasted lorikeet. Okay, and so one of the things that I notice is Name is Pez, and I remember yes. last time we talked about the lorikeets, you give them kind of candy names. We did. You know, we had a lot of birds, and we were trying to think of, like, what could be a theme that there's a lot of and what's colorful. And so we thought, okay, candies are colorful. Yes. So we name all of the lorikeets that come in after uh, different candies. That is fun. So tell so. us about Pez. What do we got here? So as I said, Pez is a scaly breasted lorikeet. There's 53 species of lorikeets and why I really wanted to bring Pez out is because when we do the lorikeets it's always in the parrot playhouse yeah. which is really loud and hard to hear and a little chaotic um, with all of those birds but Pez actually has um, just had an injury we don't know mm. what happened but she doesn't fly anymore and so she can't be in the flock so we turned her into an ambassador animal she gets to come out and so she, people get to see her in a more calm environment um, and this guys there's so many different species of lorikeets um, and the scaly crosses actually don't live as in such big flocks as some of the other species so um, she actually enjoys being just with like us that's fun. Yeah. And I think the reason why, and I'm going to guess, the reason why Pez just got a little bit more active with the squeaking is, or squawking or whatever you want to call it, because um, you can hear him over there. Yes. You can hear him at the... Yes, she is responding to, yeah. the, to the flock. Yes. That is pretty neat. So she's like, hey, I'm over here. Where are you? They're getting louder, too, now, as we go. She actually seems a little so. bit smaller than some of the others as well. So lorikeets come in all sizes. This is, there's some lorikeet species that are even smaller than her. Oh, okay. And then there's ones that are almost as big as an Amazon parrot that are like this big. So um, there's, like I said, 53 different species of lorikeets, and they come in all sizes, all different colors. And what's the coolest thing of all about a lorikeet is that they are nectar eaters. So they have a special bottle brush tongue that they stick inside flowers and they're able to get out the pollen and the nectar out. Sometimes I wish I had a tongue like that. You're very lucky. Cool. If I could have a br bottle brush tongue, I don't know how that would work. Okay, you want to know my favorite parrot word of all though? Zygodactyl. Oh yeah, that's I've heard that before. It? Zygodactyl. It's the best. Zygodactyl. It's the type of foot that they have. Right. Birds all have different types of feet and they have different names. Zygodactyl is two toes forward and two toes back, and it is for climbing. Now there are other types too, right? Yeah, who has Obviously. Them? I who climbs? Who do you find on the side of a tree? Birds. <laughs> oh my. They go. Woodpeckers. There you go. They have a zygodactyl foot. So take a look next time and see. Two toes forward, two toes back. I always feel so smart with Sharon. They do the. Parrots. I'm so smart. I can figure that out. Well, thank you, Pez. You have been an amazing. As an ambassador, I mean, what 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 does what does she do as an ambassador so she's going to go out to programs she'll do programs she'll go um do our school programs when okay. they um people can come and the schools can actually have private programs so she'll be in those um she'll come out to things like this instead of being in the aviary the whole time so she is just uh, a little ambassador well that's fun and, you know the thing is it is fun being with all those birds in there but you know now that you kind of pointed out it is nice to kind of just have this one-on-one -on -one connection with the bird and not have all the chaos with all the other birds around so yeah. thank you for spending time with me you're, there's more i know i know i know you're not really responding to me you're responding to your friends over there so thank you well thank you sharon thank you Pez. Like. that was a piece of apple not something else thank goodness we will see you next week for another turtle bay wonderful world of animals